Here in Las Vegas, the race to make the last four is on in the Party Poker US Open. Two men through, four others nervously waiting for their chance. Joshua Filler is without doubt the player to watch in this year's US Open. He's the first player through to the last four at the expense of Spain's Francisco Sanchez Ruiz. The German cleared the first six racks with ease. Ruiz came back, but the margin at that stage was too great, and no matter what the fight back was, Filler just eased away. Jeffrey De Luna kept the proud Filipino tradition in nine ball alive with a convincing win over Alex Pagulayan. De Luna dominated the early stages and held off a late fight back from Pagulayan before closing out the match to win 11-5. De Luna now has the daunting task of taking on Filler. Confirmation then of those results, but now comes the race to fill the last two spots. Three of the four involved come from China. Only Chang Yulong from Chinese Taipei bucks the trend, and his clash with Liu Hai Tao is coming up. Time then to meet the players for our third quarterfinal. This quarterfinal opened with both players trading racks. Yu took a 2-0 lead. Chang came back. The match all level after four racks. The fifth proved a turning point. Liu pulled ahead. The sixth rack, an inconclusive break by Liu, was followed by a prolonged safety battle. Chang blinked. Yu cleared to increase his lead. In the seventh, Liu failed with a combination. Chang also fell foul on that shot. Liu able to claim another rack. Rack 8 saw Liu increase his advantage in what was becoming a one-sided match. It wasn't straightforward. Lin fouled early on, ball in hand to Chang, who soon played himself into a poor position. Advantage back to Liu, who cleared. We join the match in the ninth. Commentary from Ted Lerner and Carl Boyce. You can see we are hand-racking the balls. It's the nine ball on the spot. The players nine. do not are not allowed to come down and inspect the rack. You might recall from previous tournaments that you see on TV where players would come down and look at the rack, and what they were doing was looking for gaps in the balls, and if they see a gap, it can tell them where the balls will go to a degree on the break shot. But now, in order to stop all that and make it as fair as possible, Matchroom, our organizer, our promoter, has said, no more checking the rack. Yeah, we want to get out of the game, waste time, and just get up and break the balls. And if you see the cue ball here on the break, it goes a bit low, doesn't it? Just watch this side rail where you see one ball doesn't vanish, and it's a dry break. So Chang is at the table. My, by no means is this an easy shot. Can he play this shot? It's difficult to see. Well, he's played the bank. Wow. Very, very aggressive play. Yeah, it took me about 30 seconds to put them lines up, Chang. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> He did it just to get at you, Carl. Now there you see Chang jacking up again. Now overhit that and he misses it and he may have left it on. He is looking. How unfortunate would that be? There's literally a wall of balls surrounding the two but there may be a gap for Lou well the thing is Ted 
as good as he is, you're not going to keep knocking them shots in. You just can't do it. So he's getting a little bit giddy out there now. He's trying to force the issue. <laughs> How unlucky is that? Look at that. It's, a, it's the two balls surrounded. Can he pot this? Or is he playing a bank? Well, he's played safe, and as you can tell, that is not a good effort Whoa, at that's all. The first loose effort from Lu Hai Tao. Obviously, he could not see the full ball to make it in the pocket, but he had uh, plenty of opportunities there for safety. Now, Chang is going to have to come with another special. He's looking at it. There it is. Okay, a Chang Yulung special coming up. Well, if he's playing this in the top left, speed is key. Speed is key. I think it's a little too hard. Don't be surprised if he chases the nine ball here. Maybe that's not on. You're talking about a carom into the nine. He stepped back. Not sure if he was looking at the nine or the three. Yeah, the three definitely goes, doesn't it? Because that's where he was playing. So he's going to chop this three in and just bump into the five ball. Yeah, he's just pushing the ball out. You feel these shots he's taking on. I think he needs to just rein it in a little and maybe start playing a bit more conservative because these are tough shots he's taking on. So you might have played a safety there instead. Well, yeah, he's took on some big shots, you know. A lot of big shots. Yeah, and he's, he's you know, it's only 6-2. If you can win this, this rack and Extension, then a break please. and run, you know, you are back in the match, so you've got to be a... A little bit careful. So instead of going for the home run as we stay here in the United States, the baseball reference, you would, as you say, rein it in and maybe grind it out a little bit more. Well, is he starting to tire a bit? Well, that just shows you how hard that shot is when you jacked up. There ain't a player in the world who's going to keep making them shots. Look how far away he is. That's what can happen. So, Ted, it's a good chance this now. This rack, both players have had a few wild swipes at some shots. Bank shots. Everything's gone on. But it's important for Chang Yulong to knock these balls in. Because he will be breaking. We always try to look for the turning points in a match and a couple of loose shots from Lou. Something he did not have in his game earlier. So is this the moment? This is about that time in the match where one might expect Mr. Mo momentum. Don't you know Mr. Mo, Carl? You're looking at me like, who's Mo? No, I've not heard the of The big Mo. <laughs> momentum. Mr. Mo. Momentum. He can often change sides. So a nice comeback here for... Chang Yulong to move back within three, six to three.
still in favor of China's Liu Haitao. Welcome back to the 2019 US Open, and here at the Mandalay Bay, it's the third quarterfinal. Liu Hai Tao against Chang Yulung. After a close-fought battle in the early stages, Liu started to pull away. Leading 6-3, he broke in the 10th. Safety play followed, and Chang made the mistake that allowed Liu to further increase his lead. In the 11th, Liu broke, and by now, a familiar safety battle on the two ball emerged. The outcome was familiar too. Chang leaving half a chance, Liu with an impressive shot to further increase his lead. In the 12th, it was a straightforward break and run out that compounded Chang's worries as the score widened further. The 13th saw an inconclusive break from Liu. After a push out, Liu faltered, scratching, and Chang took a rare opportunity to not only clear, but reduce the gap. In the 14th, there was a rare dry break. Liu had a limited opportunity, but failed to establish a foothold, and Chang grabbed another rack to make it 9-5. There you see the match stats. If anything stands out for you. Liu, seven break and win racks. I mean, overall, it's just been Liu has been really steering a very tight ship, whereas Chang Yulong had some mistakes in his game, was taking a lot of very daring shots and not converting, and Liu was converting on some of those misses. So up until this point, it has been Liu, the better player. There you see the one going down, and he's got a shot on the two. So. If he can get a couple of break and run outs here, I'd say six. Lou isn't going to quite feel the heat yet. If it becomes nine, seven, yes. A little doubt may start to creep in. Yeah, you have to say it's an open table. Key shot coming up now. Judge, judge the pot and the speed of this shot. And the rack is there for the taking. Like I said, from 9-4 to 9-6, you feel like you're out of the match at 9-4, but 9-6, your mindset changes. He's not scratched, has he? No, he's not. Played the four-railer. The reason why he played the four-railer there was because he had more room for error rather than trying to dolly it round off the two. The game of nine ball, Ted, it always has a habit of throwing something up, doesn't it? It's a funny old game, isn't it? It is never over until that last nine ball drops. And Chang Yu Lung, ever so slowly playing his way back into the match. This nine ball will make it three in a row for Chang. This is a big break, this. Oh, and it looks, looks dry, doesn't it? Cue ball was a bit thin. Has two ball come to the rescue? It has. 
So that's the second best prize for Chang Yulong. This continues for Lu Hai Tao. He may start to experience a little doubt. He didn't get an open shot here. He's either going to push out or play safe. Yeah, the combo is. It's not really an option. I know the camera angle made it look super easy, but if he takes that on, well, he's a madman. Lovely speed control. Or has he gone too far? I thought he was just going to nestle up behind the eight. I believe that uh, Chang can see... The one ball through that little gap. You can at least see part of it. So Chang's got a good chance of playing a good safe here. He's trying to spin the one ball in behind the two. Lovely shot. That's not too bad. You'll be happy with that one. It's a good shot at this stage of the match. Both players know the importance of this rack. There's either going to be two racks in it or there's going to be four and Lu Hai Tao will be on the hill. So... <laughs> yeah, if, if, if it becomes 9-7, the, the heat is on, it is game on. Because that means that Chang will be breaking. 10-6, going to be tough for Chang. Extension, please. going to jump it yeah he's jumping off the top rail so he's jumping over the nine to hit the top rail to come down and hit this one ball and he's missed it so no. Chang Illegal contact. Long has created a chance and the three ball has come please. in a good position I was watching that with a BDI but it goes past the pink Start four the so please. we have got action here Ted would you have thought this it's just amazing, isn't it, how this happens? Chang was uh, seemingly out of it. He was down nine to three. And then came that scratch by Lou. And the pool gods have not been kind to Lou Hightow, as so often happens when you throw away an opportunity to close out the match. You've had your chance. Now we're going to swing the momentum over the other way. Clever shot there. Swinging it round off three into a big target. So the whole match has been going Lu Hightow's way. He's had the chances. He's seen mistakes from his opponent, albeit difficult shots. And he's probably thought, this is my day. But now he's in a match. I know we keep saying it, but from 9-3 to 9-7... 
your mindset will change. Well, well, look what we got going on here. Speed control, perfect again. He has really started to find that rhythm. And we all know, from watching Chang Yulung over the years, that uh, when he's in stroke, he is a beast. He's very hard to beat. And he has found that rhythm just in time. He's got it to 9-7. Welcome back to this, the third quarterfinal in the US Open. It's Liu Hai Tao against Chang Yu Lung. So far, Liu has dominated, but the fight back from Chang produced some results. He's now just two racks away at 9 7. In the 17th, the fight back, though, was stopped dead in its tracks with this remarkable combination. In the 18th, the match turned again. Liu broke, but didn't leave himself a shot. A poor push out handed the advantage to Chang, who cleared. This is now the 19th. Chang to break. How he would love an easy layout. Last two racks, you see Liu Hightao play. Kind of exhibition, shot chase in the nine, and then it was Chang's turn in the last rack. So let's see if he can stay at the table here. It's a dry break. Nothing down. What a great match this has been, but nothing down. Now, a chance a chance for Lu Hai Tao. But he really has to be feeling the pressure. If he cannot convert here, this is going to be a dramatic finish. Let's see what he can do. Well, he's got a shot at the one ball. The pink four is over the pocket, but again, it's one of them types of shots. Yeah, he's sensible shot that because his cue was very close to the nine, so if you try and draw the cue ball back, you can move the nine with your cue, so the only problem with that is this is really difficult to control the two ball. The difficult shot here is not putting the four, it's controlling the blue two for your next shot. Extension, please. Whenever there's loads of distance, it does make the shot a lot harder. Keep an eye on the blue too, where that goes after this shot. No. Well, forget the blue too. Oh my. Well, don't forget right the blue too. In wow. The pocket and just sitting there like a duck in a shooting gallery. Chang Yu Lung now with. A big opening. Yeah, the distance proved to be difficult there for Lu Hai Tao. Didn't judge the combo well. Now can Chang get back on this three ball? I think he's gonna draw the cue ball in a, a straightish line back to get on this three. Anywhere where that piece of chalk is would be lovely. And look at that. That is perfect. And yeah, you can certainly count on Chang Yu Lung to 
Give you a nice power draw. Okay, now on to the pink four. Five is up table. Yeah, he's not out of the woods just yet because where the five is, you kind of natural two rail shot to get on the sixth. The eight is in its natural path. So it's not guaranteed just yet. So I think he's going to be playing this. Well, let's try and just have a look at this angle. Yeah, it's not guaranteed just yet. That eight ball was causing some problems, and obviously the six only goes in one of the bottom pockets. Is he going to top this five ball through and try and come all the way down table for the six ball in centre or top? Extension, Obviously the please. six ball goes in both of these pockets, so if we can play the cue ball kind of down in this area, he would have options. He's playing a 6-9 combo, unless he's just under-hit that shot. I believe he's tried to get down to the left, he's just under-hit it and not found the correct line, so tension's creeping in. But he will be taking this 6-9 on now. He didn't play for it. Yeah, he dropped his head just a bit uh, to indicate that that was not the shot he was looking at. But it is on. He's going to have to reach for this. Oh, and he's playing it left-handed. Oh, left-handed. Wow. Look at this. 6-9. No. no. He's pushed the boat out there for me. Oh, what a roll. <laughs> what a roll. And he turns around and apologizes to his opponent, Lu Hai Tao. Ted, I was looking at Lu Hai Tao. He didn't even, his facial expression didn't even move. Many a player on tour would be looking up to the skies there and shaking their head. Look at this for a roll. Oh, my life. Unbelievable. Is he going to play this hard? He is going to play it hard. He's tried to make something happen. That was a good effort from Lou there. Oh, here comes. Here comes a Chang Yu Lung special. Well, it's not the worst of leaves. Obviously, I feel for Lou Hightower there. That was a horrible thing to see. It is part of our game, but at the moment that's happened. But he's got to pull out a good shot here. Cue ball's tight on the rail. Can he power this through off the bottom rail and back up? And he's missed it. Tension. Not this time. Tension is creeping time, but in. Will he get lucky? Oh, no. He's got lucky again. <laughs> it's all going on here. What must Lou Hightower be thinking? Can he bank this? Can he bank it off the side rail and miss the eight? I'm not so sure. I'm just not so sure if that's on. Planting it uh, onto the eight. Karam's not easy either. Well, he's playing safe, so none of them shots are on. It's not a bad option. He's got a good cue ball. Needs it to stop. He's left a gap. He certainly has. Jake what Lund a rat can this is, Ted. Ball. A lot of drama here as we come to the conclusion of this. Uh, Terrific quarterfinal match. Well, he's made a mess of this. He has made a mess of this. He was trying to get the cue ball towards the nine, and he's overcut the six. So 
The bit of luck he's had so far is kind of irrelevant because Lou Hightower's now got a chance here for the match and to book his place in the semi-finals. And the cue ball looks so good where here. where does it end up? Oh, does it look up good? to the top of the arena. That doesn't bode well. Well, well, well. I thought it was going to be perfect, that. You can see his... Uh, that's about as much emotion as you'll see out of Lou Hai Tao. He had his arms spread wide like where... Is this all going to end up? I think he's trying to drop this ball in the left centre. And of course, he's missed it. Why would it be over yet, this rack? We've seen it all, Ted. And yet, another Chang Yulung special coming up. This is what has made this guy so much fun to watch shots like this. Now, consider the circumstances. 10-8. He was 9-3 down. If he makes this. Well, good Carl news. Carl Boys is going to shout to the high heavens. Well, the good news is the cue ball is coming back up table. So it's a case of trying to pot your seven. He has potted the seven. <laughs> Where's the cue ball going to finish, though? He's got a thing cut. Has he got a thing cut? I don't know, Ted. What a shot, though. Chang Yu Lung. You've got to love the way he plays nine ball. Well, the and last time he... Again. Yeah, the last time he played lefty, he made a mess of it. This is thin, though. And he's made it. The cue it. ball's going to be good. It's going to land perfect for the right middle. It's 10-9. What drama in this match again, Ted. Absolutely incredible. Chang Yu Lun walking the high wire like a circus act. He might be able to get a job here in Vegas after this is over. 10-9. Welcome back to the third quarter final in the US Open here in Vegas. It's Liu Hai Tao against Chang Yu Lung. The match, which is a race to 11, is finally balanced at 10-9. Chang Yu Lung is breaking. So Chang Yu Lung breaking with a chance to tie. Yeah, he's having a nightmare on the break, isn't he? The last few breaks. I'm stood right behind the table in the comms box and he can pop this one ball. I can see right to the table. He can definitely pop this yellow one ball. But it's nothing easy, Carl. Especially considering the circumstances. Yeah, he's got to draw the cue ball all the way back to try and get on this two. Well, that was a nice power shot right there from Lou Hightow. And the crowd gives him a deserved round of applause. Look at that. We're going to have to watch that again. With everything riding on the line, a power shot on the one, screws it back for position on the two. Yes, I agree, Ted. He hit that as pure as you like. Look at this cue ball all the way back in prime position. Well, Carl... You've been in these positions before, these dramatic matches. You really have to rely on the fundamentals at this point, don't you? 
Yes, and he's got a tricky little shot here. He's got to make sure he doesn't scratch in that far middle pocket. So the middle pocket where he stood, he's got to avoid the scratch. Cue ball's going to be coming over there and back across for the pink four. Extension, please. So this is a big shot, and it's kind of like match ball, if you like, because if he gets on this, where the rest of the balls are, the arse up really easy, so you feel like this is Chang Yulong's last chance. Can Lu Hai Tao take this chance? Or is it good? Is it good? Slow down. Wow. It's Slow down. Well, I you're kidding. I cannot believe it's even reached a pocket. Is he on this four ball? He may not be. We can tell by his reaction shortly. He's getting his jump cue. He's not on the four ball. No way. Oh, my God. I never thought the cue ball were going to go that far then. I thought it was just going to be perfect. Oh, this is fraught with danger right here. How does he even hold this uh, jump? Look at this. He's digging deep into the pocket. I was just going to say, oh. sometimes you hit the jaw, no and he has done. I cannot believe we're going to go hill, clock, hill. Please. We have seen some comebacks and drama. You only see it Start on the, the clock, one please. table setup right here in Matchroom Multisport events. What must he be thinking? He did not have an extension. He was running out of time. I think he would have taken a little more time had he had more time because uh, he was very rushed there. And it was a very difficult shot. And he hit the point as he jumped with the cue ball. And it was a foul. And that leads to ball in hand for Chang Yu Long with a chance right here to tie. And he would be breaking for the match. I'm sat here in shock. I just never thought this was going to go hill hill. No way. Not at 9-3. Chang Yu Lung was out of it. And Lu was cruising to victory. But it was one scratch by Lu Hai Tao at 9-3. And that brought Chang Yu Lung back into the match. Needs cue ball to run. Needs the cue ball to run. Oh. Is he on this ball? If he is, it's thin. What a poor shot this is. He's got all the bottom end of the table to land in. Well. I'm just, I'm looking at Chang Yu Lung and he's, he's not no, happy. He's I don't not know happy. If he's, I don't know if he's on this ball. If he is, it's thin, Ted. Well, we're near the end of the match, but. Extension, please. You would expect a few twists and turns. On the way to the conclusion here. Well, I thought it was a cert to go 10 10. He's just not come far enough. Obviously, he knows better than us the exact angle he's got. We're just presuming, but he certainly isn't perfect on this seven because he would have played it by now. And this is super thin, so. Cue ball might be moving. Just watch the seven. Oh, he got it. Oh, he's milked it. That's what we call milking it in the trade. He's milked that one, Ted. It went easy. Got us all excited for nothing. So two balls to tie it up. He's got to hold his nerve. So this right here. Well, Ted, we're a nine ball away from Hill Hill drama. 
We're going to a one-rack decider. Sudden death. Who will go on to the semifinals of the U.S. Open? Who will get knocked out of the event? I need a cold one. Buckets of ale, pal. Coming soon. One rack. Who will be in the quarterfinal, in the semifinals? Well, he's not had much success on the break, has he? It has to be said. But look at this. He's got a shot, and the balls have come out lovely. Absolutely oh, perfect. My life. One and two down. Watch it here. One in the side. Two kicks off the rail into the corner. Three into the side. Four right out there. Five. Carl, what's going on? Listen, it's just unbelievable. What must Lou Hightower be thinking? I know what I'm thinking. I remember when I was 9-1 down to him in the semis of the US Open. And I come back and won. Surely it can't happen to him again. He might be the unluckiest pool player alive. Wait a minute. This is the first time you're telling us this? You came back from 9-1 down to Lou Hightower in the semis of the US Open. Yeah, Michael mentioned it in the in the last match. But, God, I just can't believe it. Key shot coming up. He has got to really get into the cue ball here. Roughly that kind of line, and you would feel it's good enough. This is the big shot. There's no doubt about it. Chang Yun Ling has won many majors, but he will be feeling it. Well, he's gone the other way. Where's the nine ball? And where's the cue ball? We've already oh, seen no. it land in the jaw. Oh, Ooh, wow. <laughs> Ted, I can't take much more. This is as good as it gets in the drama department. Well, he's queuing off the rail. He needs to pinch a bit of the pocket, and he has done. And he has done. Where's the cue ball going here? He's lost it a little bit. He wanted more angle. He definitely wanted more angle. Because if he had more angle, it would have been so easy to get on the eight. Now he's going to have to play a, a good positional shot. I think he's going to spin this in off the three rails and come back down to, well, he's drawing it. Well, this is a good shot. I don't think he's drawing it. Is he stunning out into open play? And I can't believe he's played that what shot. What in the world? Look at this. I can't believe he's played that shot. He had an angle. <laughs> if, he, if he forces it through with a bit of right hand spin, he comes off three rails into the correct line of the shot. That is unbelievable. Well, Perhaps he's, it's it's just a case of nerves and he didn't want to play the loose, you know, three rail shot. Yeah, but it's a positive way to strike it because if you don't cue it correctly, you'll always have a shot on the eight. The way he's played it, the tension in your arm, you can easily do what he's done. Now he might pot this eight, but it's, it's a difficult shot, this. He got it. But I'll tell you something, he's without doubt the best in the world at that shot. What a shot, and the crowd loves it. This nine for an improbable win in the quarterfinals. He got it. <laughs> Chang Yu Long with one of the great comebacks you'll ever see. He moves into the semifinals. Who would have thunk it? A remarkable comeback by Chang Yu Lung is rewarded with a place in the last four of the Party Poker US Open.